this is Bhumika and welcome back to my channel Discover PhD Research gradually where we discuss the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in the field. In my previous video we have discussed that to start with the PhD qualifying UGC net is not important but as per the amendments in 2018 for being a professor having both the UGC net scorecard and the PhD degree is very necessary. So as per my opinion, rather than wasting your years and years in appearing for the UGC net exam, start your PhD by RET which is research entrance test and once you get registered in the coursework, simultaneously you can start appearing for the UGC net. So that both will go hand in hand. Now the question come, why to do the literature review? So the purpose of doing the literature review is to know and to understand what all the studies have taken place, what were the researches were taken place, what were their objectives and the findings in the study. Some of the people put the limitations or recommendations section after the conclusion. So their limitation could be your objective of the study. For example, there is an article titled Internet Financial Reporting by Indian Public and Private Companies. Now we will review this literature slowly and stepwise. Let's move ahead. We'll start with the abstract. Abstract is the gist of the study which has objective research methodology which, which has statistical test, the sample size and later the findings or the results. Now coming back to the paper. These highlighted lines under the abstract shows the paper present aim to analysis the extent of financial disclosure. Aim to analysis means these are the objective of the study. Then the research based on top 30 companies listed on BSE which is the sample size. In the last line man witness test applied for analysis. This was the statistical test used in this study. The above line the results show that both sectors utilize their websites for some disclosure at some extent. So this was the findings or the results of the study. We will be reviewing this literature very slowly and stepwise. Like today we have just covered the abstract section. The next sections to be reviewed in the next upcoming videos. If this information is helpful, please like my video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates. If there are any suggestions or questions, you can write in the comment box. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.